we are taking a different path in this video. In this video, we're going to be exploring the Auk from a Toys Era. One six scale figure. Hello folks, Denobi2 here. Thank you for joining me once again on another visual tour. We are going to unbox the Auk, a unlicensed figure from a Toys Era. But before we do, before we get into this video with The Auk, um, I have to disclose that I am very well versed in the world of Dr. Octopus. Dr. Octopus is one of my all-time favorite characters. Uh, I love customizing anything uh, that I'm able to attach tentacles arm. Hell, uh, even a few years ago I did that one video where Doc Ock goes up against Iron Man. And the Rip Iron Man I've been busy since Spider-Man 2. I've been working for Del Monte packing canned corn. Pretty good. A lot of fingers. Son of a... Oh. Ah! <laughs> yeah. oh, still under warranty. Oh, that's not going to be good. Oh, careful where you stick that. <laughs> oh, alright. Uh, Marco! <laughs> uh, okay. Help! That's a tough Eight years later and the action figure still holds up. One of my favorite pieces. I even got to visit the Hollywood Museum back in uh, 2007. And I got to visit an actual movie prop that was used in the film. So I know what this uh, this this character is, is meant to look like. I know what the tentacles look like. A lot of folks just assumed that the, uh, the actual mechanical arms were all CGI. No, the majority of the film and they used actual uh, props. They used actual uh, uh, real-life animatronic arms that uh, was used and incorporated. Uh, one of my favorite pieces was the Toy Biz. Toy Biz uh, rocked it back in 2004 uh, with their 12-inch 12 12 inch, uh, vinyl action figure and the arms are still phenomenal to this day. Uh, the fact that uh, they were able to incorporate this type of uh, movie quality back in the day is, is still mind-blowing. That being said, let's proceed on with the unboxing of uh, The Auk. We can't call it Dr. Octopus since this is a unlicensed product from Toys Era. Then that, that doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing, uh, and that's not really why I'm going to be harsh in this video about it. I'm going to nitpick that uh, my logic is, is that if you're gonna do something right, if you're going to make something, do it right the first time. Don't half-ass it. Don't take shortcuts. That being said, uh, I'm taking a look. Uh, just kind of looking at the color. Uh, and I, I'm going to start with the arms. Let's start with the arms because the arms, are, to me, are the character, or the, uh, the, the embodiment of what Dr. Octopus should look like uh, and, and so forth. So the mechanical uh, pinchers at the end, to me, right off the bat, look very cinematic, very uh, accurate to what the mechanical pinches are. What jumps at me is is the is the color. I'm not saying that it's bad that it's a gunmetal color, but the fact that it is uh, where's the yellow? Uh, there is a highlight uh, a hue uh, of of yellow on one side of these arms. That to me is a is is the first big hit. Big hit miss from Toys Era. How do you how do you miss this? Uh, I I don't know if if they did it in, intentionally to save on on paint, or they wanted to take creative licensing. Uh, that I'm not sure. But that being said, though, if they were getting their own, if they if they wanted to go in a different direction, why are they using the actual photo of Doctor Octopus in front of the box? Uh, the internal mechanisms. Uh, within the pincher are 100% acceptable. They, I, I think they did a really good job on this and the, uh, the articulated uh, joints on there. Uh, in fact, uh, when I go back and I compare it to, uh, to the Toy Biz, it's up to par. I mean, everything on here is, is solid. It's, uh, it's well constructed. Uh, I like the little hu pink hues. I even like the little red dots on the arm. It's just the, the, the gold yellow, the, uh, I, I want to call it the caterpillar yellow because these were meant uh, are, are meant to be industrial mechanical arms uh, that he developed to handle fusion inside a fusion reactor so going back to the toy biz arm you can kind of see uh, 
that just it, it, it's and I'm not saying it should be 100% perfect, but it should at least somewhat reflect the the actual film. Uh, pictures inside, that's the toy biz on the left, and then the toys era uh, on the right. Um, and you can kind of see right there. And, you know, it's not it's not that, uh, and, you know, to be fair, toy biz didn't even uh, get the actual paint scheme right. But they were at least able to acknowledge that, you know what, that uh, one side of the, uh, the arms does have that that yellow hue on it um, I want to say they didn't even get the shape of the arm uh, right on this you can kind of see and I, I'm gonna have to side with toy biz because toy biz would have had access to uh, production notes and, and and photo stills to create the actual uh, look and uh, of the actual arms and even even the uh, the, the six inch toy biz uh, action figure arm even has the the, the same I guess more of a triangle look, an, an ob, ob, oblong type uh, look. So uh, the, they went with a different mold into the arm. That's that I'm not going to hold against them. But the but the yellow on it, absolutely. That they to, to me in my book it is a big miss. Uh, they did get the second pair of arms right because uh, I wasn't sure if they were just going to make one mechanical arm and then just duplicate and just clone and duplicate it for all forums. So two arms uh, ha they, they has the uh, what uh, what he would use to stand to uh, support more weight to carry a, a larger load and it would be this arm and then the other ones would be more for the fine detail uh, taking off glasses, grabbing things uh, like money bags and so forth. So they were able to get this, um, th these pinchers right. The money bags, the accessories for the money bags, it's 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 a nice, I'm gonna say a treat. Um, I don't know about the whole pillow look and and, and stuffing it with uh, with the with the polymer foam on it. I, I that's. <sighs> I don't know why they didn't just throw in like little plastic beads in there, like or or, or, or like the little plastic beans in there, to keep, to make it more to, to make it look more of, of a money bag, uh, holding gold coins. the The base is okay; it's very generic. I, I don't have much of an opinion on it. This, this base seems to be the most standard base that we're getting with most one six scale figures. Uh, what is unique about the base though is that you can use the the crotch stand, and they also give you the option of, of a flight stand with a uh, waist grabber on there so that's 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 cool I guess the goggles are a nice touch uh, Dr. Octopus actually has uh, three pairs of goggles uh, and majority of the film he actually just wears sunglasses uh, so they missed out on points and they get a slap on the wrist for just including just the one pair of goggles because majority of the film he's wearing sunglasses he only wears these goggles at the end of the film when he creates the second fusion reactor so the first pair of goggles, when on the first fusion reactor, actually is is it's different. It's not these. Uh, let's let's look at the head sculpt here. Um, I'm not gonna hold Toys Era against a head sculpt. They their their strength has never been in my book head sculpts, and and that's fine. I actually knew going into this and pre-ordering this that um, uh, that the head sculpt wasn't going to be very accurate to the the actor of, of, of Alfred Molina. Uh, I knew with the goggles or even a pair of glasses it, it was a good passable knockoff. It, it could work. Uh, the color of the trench coat is is pretty cinematic accurate. Uh, I like the, the tears through it. Uh, I like that they added the extra layer because he does wear uh, two trench coats, which is so weird. I always wondered why Dr. Octopus would wear two, but it, I mean, for costume-wise, he does. He has the outer wear, and then he has the, the inner wear, and I like that the uh, they added bendy wires to this. So they get points for this. I like the design of the coat. I really do. I, I thought they did a good job on this, and, and the color hues, and, and, and everything. Even the stitching, so they get points for this. So I'm like, okay, that's cool. They... I could work with this trench coat and, and costume. Uh, this is something that Toys Era has actually been pretty good with. It's, it's the costume. They're weak. They're weak as hell with the face sculpts, but uh, everything else with costumes are pretty good. Uh, the body. What is up with this muscular, slim body? I'm taking back those points I just gave you. 
because it's they get something right, they get something wrong. They get something right, they get something wrong. Alfred Molina is a large, heavy set dude. He's he's somewhat fat. Uh, Dr. Octopus has always been fat. Uh, and the fact that uh, they clearly went with a slim body to save on production is a no-no. Let's look back at the production still. There, there he goes. I, I'm not saying he's super obese fat, but he does pack on a little bit of girth. And uh, when you can see when the arms are attached to it, he's a little bit heavy set on, on the top. Uh, I, clearly, they went with this uh, to, to save him money. And what the hell is this crap? Look at this. You see what's missing here? Does anybody else see what the hell is missing here? The, the, uh, the, the microchip that runs up his neck is missing. What the hell? Remember the chip that helps keep his hive mind? That's a, hell, even the $30 12-inch vinyl Toy Biz figure actually has the spinal cord that runs up his back. Look at it. There it is right there. I don't understand why they couldn't have added that. I, I, that, that to me is penny pinching. And this is, this is the crap that with these, with these third-party companies, they, they, they annoy me. They, they take these type of shortcuts, but they don't, they don't reflect it in the discount. The fact that, that they're still asking hot toy prices for something like this is beyond belief. That, that's just, that's absurd. If it was priced more similar to, let's say, a buck thirty or up hundred and fifty, I wouldn't get bent out of shape like this. But it, that to me is, is 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 just it's just not right. I'm gonna attach the arms here. We're gonna move into the uh, the arms, and I like that it's it's hard to attach. Uh, that tells me that it's going to be sturdy. Uh, it's going to give me the ability to to pose the arms in the way that uh, I like. Uh, right here, as as I have him laying on his on his stomach, it reminded me of the scene where he's in the hospital and the doctors are trying to cut his arms off. Uh, they uh, missed opportunity with the costume changes. I mean, the fact that um, he, they couldn't incorporate like a tank top or like the or like the pants that he's wearing when he's getting the arms attached would have been cool. I was going to have him in the flight stand, but the actual uh, flight stand rocket, the uh, uh, waist grabber here broke off and I got to know after, you know, playing and fidgeting with it for five or ten minutes, I said, the hell with this, this isn't working. Overall, um, what we're at right now, it is a okay figure. There is tons of improvements here. They could have made something beautiful, something fantastic. But they decided to take a few shortcuts, and, and from this point on is where I would probably give it a, a, a six out of ten. That being said, though, there there may be an opportunity. Uh, I love this character; I love it, and I'm gonna do a little bit of improvements here. I'm gonna I'm gonna see what I can do. And the first thing that I think I can do is that I can take this arm, and I can apply a light coat of paint. And the paint that I, I'm, I went looking for is Caterpillar Yellow. And the closest I came to finding Caterpillar ye Yellow was this Rust-Oleum uh, Tuscan Sun paint. Uh, just a light coat of this. To give it some yellow. Those arms need yellow. Caterpillar caterpillar Yellow. Oh, that's a tongue twister for me. What's even cool, what I, what I discovered is that if I, can, if I use the foam inserts and I take the arms and I squeeze it in there I can just spray paint a nice thin layer of that yellow paint so as I did that I'm gonna let that dry off and the goggles I'm gonna take off the goggles and I have an extra pair of sunglasses and I was lucky enough to find a pair of sunglasses on eBay that are very similar to his cinematic look these are the probably the closest I can get to finding the sunglasses that he, that he wears through most of the film so it works it this this look works better than the goggles. Um, let's go back to those uh, those bags of money. Um, let's get rid of all that uh, polyester uh, foam felt on there. And let's see if we can maybe slightly modify these bags of currency. And what I'm going to do is, is that his extra pairs of hands, that he, he comes with two, an extra two pairs of hands, I'm going to take the hands and I'm just going to store them in here. Uh, just to kind of give them more of a, of a look that... Uh, it, that, that isn't a bag of a, a, a pillow, isn't a pillow bag. So I have the extra spare hands in there and I tied them up and, and that should work. The extra uh, foam, the extra foam, the, uh, the polyester uh, spacer there, I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna give him a little bit of girth. I'm gonna take all that uh, uh, polyester uh, felt foam, whatever it is, 
and I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a nice I'm gonna wrap it around his waist his mid waist uh, to, just to give him a, to to give him a little bit of girth. Now the fedora hat uh, doesn't fit. Uh, it's it's hard. One six scale hats it's always hard, but. It, it, Remember, he wears a, a, a fedora hat through most parts of the film. So the hat doesn't work. I was going for that look. Uh, so I'll have to come up with something different. But the glasses do work. Let's go back to the arms. I, I spray painted a nice thin layer coat of yellow paint of caterpillar yellow. And I like it. I didn't want to go too heavy into the yellow. I wanted to give it more of a, an industrial mechanical look. A couple of the arms have a little bit more yellow than the others. Uh, and the and and so forth, and that's fine because I'm gonna. The whole idea is to give the arms their own character. In in the actual novelization of the book, uh, each of the arms uh, it was it, each of the arms were their own personality. After uh, after spray painting it, and after attaching it, adding the glasses, and even having the arms hold the fedora hat, I'm actually happy with this look. So instead of the six I gave it earlier, it's up to. A seven and a half, maybe an eight. Uh, up on the scale now, it looks so much better right now. It really does. Uh, I can't believe they missed out on the hat. Uh, something about the hat uh, and, and the sunglasses makes them so much more Alfred Molina. Uh, the yellow caterpillar paint just is just it's popping. I love it. I love it. I love it. And the bags of money with the extra spare hands, it looks more a little bit more realistic than the pillows that uh, he came with this is it folks like subscribe leave your comments below uh, let me know what you think i try to not i try not to be too harsh but my god doc Ock, i mean that's this is my character love this guy